down deep in the dungeon, down deep in the cave, Bilbo found a gleaming golden ring. Then he put the mysterious ring in his pocket. Then he met the mysterious creature named Gollum. Behind stars and under hills and empty holes, it fills. It comes first and follows after, and like his laughter, the answer is dark, the dark. Hello everybody, hi, this is the Blue Ice King here, about to continue on with the story and the video game of The Hobbit. Last time we were here, Bilbo found what appears to be a golden ring inside a slimy, smelly cave. But, he realized he was not alone. You're about to meet who Bilbo run up, runs up against inside the deep dank cave. Oh, by the way, whoever has answered the questions, trivia questions, and riddles that you see in the description down below the title, if you all answered them right, you'll see my comment when I see you see that you got an answer right. And I would really wish some people would literally leave comments on these videos I bust my, I bust my butt to do, but what are you gonna do? But anyway, we're gonna continue on right here with The Hobbit. We're gonna continue right here with The Hobbit, chapter seven, Flies and Spiders. Anybody afraid of spiders? Because I'm not afraid. I'll take them out with Sting my damn self. Oh yeah. And by the way, that gleaming golden green is one I have right here. Now, sit back, enjoy. Let's have some fun in The Hobbit. Have fun watching. Now we're gonna do chapter seven because we already finished chapter six, Riddles in the Dark. Now we're gonna proceed on to chapter seven, Flies and Spiders. Those you don't know, it is me, the Blue Eyes King. I should have introduced that earlier, but if I did, let me know because I have, keep, I have trouble reminding myself. But we're gonna purchase some things right here since we know what Bilbo found. A golden ring. We're gonna purchase some health potions just to beware. Because you never know. Some things some things around can be extremely poisonous. We're gonna get some antidotes. Uh two more skeleton keys. Refill my rocks. I said rocks, not skeleton key, but what the heck. We're we'll gonna get some more health potion. And that's it. Let's continue on to chapter seven Flies and Spiders. Lost again in the tunnels. Bilbo found a gleaming golden ring. He put the mysterious ring in his pocket. Then he realized he was not alone. Bilbo introduced himself to the mysterious creature named Gollum. They agreed to play the ancient game of riddles. The rules were simple. If Gollum lost the game, he would show Bilbo the way out. But if Bilbo lost, Gollum would eat a tasty dinner. Soon, Bilbo couldn't think of any more riddles. <laughs> Is it scrumptious? What have I got in my pocket? <clears throat> Not fair. Well, that's my riddle. Hands it, a knife, a string, it's all or nothing. All wrong. Now, 
Show me the way out. We must go and get something first. followed Gollum out of the cave and found his friends on the other side of the Misty Mountains. But they were not out of danger. A pack of wild wolves attacked. safety, Gandalf said goodbye to his old friend, the Lord of the Eagles. At the edge of Mirkwood, Gandalf announced he was leaving again. He showed them a trail through the forest and warned them not to stray from the path. Soon their supplies ran low. One day, the hungry dwarves saw wood elves feasting in the forest, and they left the path. The wood elves vanished. Bilbo found himself lost and alone. Flies and spires. Hello! Thorin? Oh, can't fusticate these dwarves. They knew better than to get lost in Mirkwood Forest. Well, I'd better find them. We don't have a choice now. They shouldn't have left the path in the first place. And then again, Mirkwood Forest is filled with illusions, so what are we gonna do about it? We have to find the missing dwarves. Let's see, the ring will slip from slip Bilbo's finger when the ring meter is empty. When a red glow will appear around Bilbo, when, a red glow will appear around Bilbo when someone looks at him directly. We better be careful. Some evil creatures of, of, of Middle Earth can still sense Bilbo's presence, even with the ring equipped. So the ring can basically turn Bilbo invisible. But if evil or things can see Bilbo, then <laughs> it's no use putting on the ring. Don't you think? Well, we better find those, those dwarfs inside Markwood Forest. Whoa! 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 That's new. Poisonous barbs. Ha! 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 That should take care of them. Another antidote to the poisons. We better find those dwarves. I do hope they're gonna be alright. Ha! Spider webs? This is Dory's helmet. I do hope he's alright. So do I, Bilbo. Great. Ha! Back up! A walking stick. Perfect thing for spawning spiders. Ha! Ha! 
I've been poisoned! I've been poisoned. I need to heal up. I need to heal up. That should fix that. That water looks foul. So you cannot slip into that water. Ever. Quick save. Evil spirits. Minions of the Necromancer. Ha! 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 Y'all know who the Necromancer is? Who's summoning these beasts? If you do, please let me know in the comments below, cause these guys are relentless. Ha! And they are taking a lot of Bilbo damage, Bubbles. That can be useful. We're gonna have to shoot at it. Let's hope our aim is good. That should do. Wait, there's there's stuff up there. Before I proceed any further, I should check I should check this out. I mean, let's see if we can check this out. There has to be a way up there. I need to figure out a way to get up there. Because all those courage points. Ah! Poison! Poison! Thank goodness. Yeah, it's poison, alright. Wait! Maybe I can get through over there by crossing this gorge. Ha! Alright. A chest? Another antidote to common poisons. Okay. Ha! Now that's useful. That's useful. Very useful. Courage points. The more court, the more courage points. The more we can increase Bilbo's health. Remember to collect them. It's very important. Oh yeah. Awesome. Now we got we can inflict more damage on the people with sting. Impressive. Ha! With the jumping technique we have now. Another bubble. Another health bubble for Bilbo Baggins. The Hobbit strikes once again! Three cheers for Bilbo Baggins! Ha ha ha! Alright. Now let's go across here without any delays of fighting the missing dwarves. Ha! 
fire at fire. friends were not so lucky. The spiders killed every man in my camp, including my brother. I am sorry about your brother. You could burn through those webs if you had some oil. You will find some in the camp to the north. I feel bad for Carwin. He lost his brother. We're sorry about your brother, Corwin. But like you said, we have to find we have to find some oil in the north camp. We're gonna stop right here because the journey to find some oil and to collect things over there is not gonna be easy. So let's stop here. Let's stop right here. Please leave a like and comment down below. You see a trivia question down there? Please give a give it your best answer, the best you can. A, B, or C, or if you see a riddle. See if you can guess the answer, A, B, or C. Thank you very much. This is the Blue Eyes King. I'll see you all in the next part of Chapter 7, Flies and Spiders.